Good evening. Thank you for letting me join you. Uh, we continue in our Advent themes of hope, peace, joy, and love. And now this last week, uh, just before Christmas, uh, we uh, listen to scriptures about love. I'll be reading from the first letter of John, chapter 3. For this is the message you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. We must not be like Cain, who was from the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder his brother? Because his own deeds were evil and his brother's righteous. Do not be astonished, brothers and sisters, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love one another. Whoever does not love abides in death. All who hate a brother or sister are murderers. And you know that murderers do not have eternal life abiding in them. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses to help? Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this we know that we are from the truth, and we assure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God. We receive from him whatever we ask because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. This is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. By this note, we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit that he has given us. Let us continue to grow in our love for God and our love for for one another. Please join together with me in prayer. It is such a simple commandment that you have given to us that we would love one another. It is a challenge sometimes when we feel unlovable, when we are not loving towards others. Lord, let your spirit transform us, soften us from the inside out, Help us to have the same spirit that was in Christ as he laid down his life for us. May we be willing to give selflessly of ourselves to others. We pray all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Have a good evening.